Hello, this is Solar Business TV once again from InterSolar Munich 2018. And now we are together with Alex Levran, who just came here from far, far, far away from California. Uh, why did you come actually to Europe? Uh, I came to Europe because um, uh, I'm part of the Schumach management. Uh, um, the shows that we attend in Solar are global. A lot of customers from US and Americas are coming here. And uh, that is a good opportunity for us as a management to introduce Schumach in Europe, in uh, Munich, but also for the customers from overseas. But afterwards also you are going to Turkey and to China, yes? Right, I'm going from here, I'll be traveling more. Okay. So Alex, but let's speak a bit more, even if you are in Europe, let's speak about uh, United States. So how is now the situation on the US market? The US market historically was one of the best markets uh, in, in, on, uh, on the globe. Of course, it's not as big as China, but it, it is growing uh, very nicely to, to 12, 14 gigawatts a year. What is uh, dis disrupting this year the, the market a little bit is the module, uh, uh, first of all, tariffs, the Rule 201, mm -hmm. and now with the change in, in uh, um, uh, government decision in China, makes the module pricing vol volatility very high, and in such situations, the market simply goes to a stop, people re-examining their financial uh, uh, needs and uh, for module price and so on and so forth. So it simply puts the, uh, the market on a, on, a sh uh, on a slower pace than we expected. But in general, the market in the U.S. is excellent. And what is now, uh, you know, like a uh, opinion of utilities? about the market. Do they also, like you know, like in Europe, NL and others, they are entering very aggressively in uh, the renewable energy and how does it look in the US? Uh, we, we see in basic, basically the same phenomenon now. Uh, some utilities, they don't like uh, the renewables and they keep uh, it out of their territory. But many um, utilities like uh, Nextera, like uh, others are very, very aggressively pursuing renewables, solar par particularly now, but also wind. Okay. And what about um, other countries in Americas? Yes, because you are in charge of Americas. So do you see also the progress, and especially in Latin America? Uh, yes, definitely. Latin America actually growing faster than even the United States or even Central America. But uh, Mexico is very huge growth of utilities because they deregulated their uh, con conventional utilities. Central America is uh, in love with solar now. We see a lot of new projects going in Colombia, in, of course, Chile because of the mining industry and a beautiful irradiation, the solar in Chile, Argentina. Mm -hmm. uh, what we see in, in Latin America, the biggest influence is the fact that up to this point, the energy was uh, uh, generated by hydro, mm -hmm. but because of the El Nino and uh, the, the shift in, in uh, rain patterns, every, every second year we have drought and, and so our third year, that created a shortage of energy that is supplemented very quickly with solar. Mm -hmm. So solar is becoming a very good, if you wish, a plug for energy shortage mm -hmm. on a very quick pace. So it's a very good... Uh, actually uh, situation for us. And how is uh, SUMEC performing in the United States and in uh, Americas you know, as a whole? Uh, SUMEC uh, is a very uh, a new company to the international market. That's why I came to work for SUMEC in, uh, uh, in Americas um, to help them to grow the business. We are growing nicely uh, in Latin America. We are de developing the channels um, we have another uh, limitation, uh, the, the fact that Schumach is government-owned. The tariffs for government-owned Chinese companies in the United States is gigantic. So we have this problem that the tariffs are not really correspond, uh, helping us. But we have partnerships uh, that, Schumach, that produce products per Schumach uh, designs in Vietnam, in Korea in, in uh, Turkey. That's why uh, Mr. Chai is pushing expansion of the strategic expansion of manufacturing base outside China to support countries like United States for, for tariff uh, 
uh, elimination. Okay. So in China, uh, Sumec is not only like manufacturer, but it's also owning solar parks, exploiting uh, like I think uh, almost two gigawatts. Yes? Yes. Is it also the business model that you will be introducing to uh, Americas? Uh, yes, uh, de definitely to Americas, more in Latin America and Central America than U.S. But uh, because uh, you, you don't want to compete with your own customers, okay? But uh, definitely uh, uh, we have EPC capabilities and we are introducing them to our customers, future customers in America. But also uh, you are helping with investments, yes? Uh, we are, yes, we have also as part of the EPC we're providing uh, uh, financing to the project, yes. So the last question, uh, Alex, uh, how do you see the development of uh, US market, you know, with all these circumstances? And how do you think that uh, Sumac can be, you know, one of the major players in the country? Well, Schum Schumek is a profitable company, so economically we are uh, stable and, and uh, paced for growth. The, the issue of uh, module volatility, module price volatility, uh, in the last 15 years we had, every second year we had the same situation, for a different reasons, but the same situation. So I don't see that to be catastrophic. I think Schumek, uh, with all of the partnerships that we develop overseas, that can bring our product at a lower tariff than what a government-owned company will pay, have a very good chance to succeed. And with our strong financial performance of the group, uh, we, we are one of the most profitable companies in this space. Uh, we, we, we have a long-term long uh, insurance to grow. Okay, Th That's what I, I see, that I have enough time to grow the business uh, because Schumacher is behind me. Okay. So uh, for this year, you will be in San Francisco, in uh, Anaheim, Sao Paulo, yes? Yes. Okay, so let's meet Alex if anybody wants to see him uh, in San Francisco in July, uh, in uh, August in Sao Paulo, and in SPI. September at SPI and maybe also at our event in Beverly Hills on the September 24th. Thank you so much, Alex, for being Thank with you. us and, you, and see you in San Francisco. See you again.